Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're talking about Tesla's premium white interior and how it held after 25,000 miles. In my opinion, these white seats are very durable, but at the same time, Tesla claims like the stain resistance is so high, which I think it's just not true because they definitely get stained easily and they are quite hard to clean. They can get stained from, for example, my friend was sitting in a passenger seat and she had a leather bag with her and that leather bag stained the passenger seat and it took me so many different methods to try to clean it and I was still unable to fully clean those little stains that she left. The other thing is that they do transfer color from clothes as well. I was wearing like a velvet designer jeans. The day after I wore those jeans, I clearly saw stains all over the seat which were quite easily removable but it still stayed on the left side of the driver's seat and it's honestly impossible to clean whatsoever i tried everything i tried different products that are always in my car to clean it and then i also even tried clorox i tried stuff from amazon i even tried mr clean sponge and stains like this are just not removable from white seats so if you have kids and you are concerned about your white seats i would either buy like a cover over to protect them or just if you don't care like you don't care so you wouldn't even be watching this video but my previous tesla had all black interior and i would say you definitely don't worry as much about the black interior as the white interior but even the black one also gets stains it's just a different type of stains but yeah my driver's seat definitely has like i said on the left side of the seat closer to the door you can clearly see like the stains that are absolutely not removable i tried everything like i said also the white mesh that's between the seat and the plastic that holds the seat gets super dirty and there is no way absolutely no way you can clean that part so just expect it to not be white obviously so with the black seats you will not have that problem it's not like it's really a problem i feel like you would expect it to not be white as of how often i clean my seats it's probably gonna be like once per week or once per every two weeks so i don't really do it like that often but i do drive a lot and i do get in and out of the car very often the fact that my seats stayed in this condition after 25,000 miles it's pretty impressive because even with my black seats my headrest had a very big problem because the leather just started to dissolve and tesla quoted me 500 dollars just to replace the the headrest this white seat does not have this problem so i would assume they either improved the material in 2021 because my processor was 2020 or it's just a problem with the black seats because all the posts i saw on reddit about the dissolving leather problem were all black interior i've never seen it from the white interior now let's get into if it's worth 1000 extra on model 3 or 2k more on model s and x and i honestly would say for aesthetics definitely worth one thousand dollars i wanted white seats even when i got my first tesla but it was just not available right now of course you can select white interior and if you don't mind paying one thousand extra i would 100 percent go for it and if you're not a messy person you really don't even have to worry about them that much and like i said i don't clean them every day my back seats are in perfect conditions there is nothing i can even say about them because i almost never have any passengers so the only thing i would mention is that the seat belts in the back they stained the white material and i tried absolutely everything there is no way i can clean that yellow stain that left from the plastic of the seat belt on that white cover so that's a little bit of bummer but at the same time i don't really care because like i said no one goes to the back and it's covered under that belt also the plastic on the bottom by the seats gets scratched up very easily so if you are annoyed by scratches or something like that just keep in mind it is going to happen there's nothing you can do that's my opinion about white seat you saw how mine look after 25,000 miles and i did mention everything that happened to my seats and yeah i would still recommend them because i feel like it's really worth it and like i said even the black ones get stained because i do remember my black ones had multiple stains multiple like 
they kind of look like cats to be honest because it's like so reflective on the black seat and at least on the white seat it's not that visible honestly like stuff like that if it happens on your white seat you will not really notice it because it's literally gonna be like a shadow or something but with the black seat because the seat itself is so like glossy i would say as for cleaning what i would recommend is honestly just use some wipes it doesn't matter the brand like honestly i just buy whatever is in walgreens so these are like with alcohol these are just the regular ones just the wipes is enough for you to clean the seats you don't have to buy none of that expensive shit on amazon or whatever the cleaning supplies like it's not that serious regular wipes you wipe the seat probably one wipe two wipes per seat and you're fine you're fine every once per like two weeks that's all you gotta do and your seats are gonna be in the same condition as mine that's it about the seats i hope this video was helpful thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye